A grand jury indicts eight people accused of breaking into cars and stealing more than $120,000 worth of items. The crimes happened in East Brainerd, Collegedale, and Ottawa. Several of the burglaries happened in the Misty Valley subdivision. News Channel 9's Alana LaFleur shows us what neighbors there say they're doing to protect themselves. Alana. Kim Calvin, police warn people all the time leaving valuables visible in your car is like leaving money in plain spot in sight. Despite the warning, today people showed us what they lock up in their cars, but still keep expensive items inside. For some people, parking their cars in the garage is purely aesthetic. To make it look nice. But Alethea Center is protecting her property by keeping her cars out of sight. She lives in the Misty Valley subdivision where a string of break-ins happened over the summer. The neighbor opposite us was broken into their car. We asked another Misty Valley neighbor, Michael Davenport, what he keeps in his truck, even after the break-ins. Batteries, they're worth $100 a piece, sometimes $150, depending on how big you go. Davenport needs all of his tools for his job working on septic systems. Around the time of the break-ins, a few items went missing from his truck. Yeah, it was very frustrating. I mean, you know, you roll up to a job and <laughs> Now you don't have anything to work with and you look like a fool in front of your customer and um, so then you have to leave and go buy tools just to get the job done. Davenport says he didn't contact police and doesn't know for sure if the eight people indicted in the car burglaries took his tools. But now he's more careful and says he'll leave things in the cab or strap them up. Anytime somebody's like, do I need to lock my car here? I'm like, no, it's college deal. I mean, nobody's <laughs> nobody's going to mess with our stuff here. But now, I mean, you, you know, it just goes to show you that even when you think it's safe, uh, there's always somebody out there. College Dell police say from January to now they've investigated 36 car break ins. In Chattanooga, police responded to more than 2,500 car burglaries in the same time period. Calvin. Thanks, Alana. So far, two men, Quinzel Beasley and Edward Taylor, are in the Hamilton County Jail right now. Eddie Henderson and Tevin Quadrell Westmoreland are jailed in Mar Marion County for similar offenses. A couple is robbed.